Hi, I'm M from 21 Readers. Today I'm reacting to the April Book of the Month picks. Finding out the picks is my favorite part of being a Book of the Month member. I enjoy learning about the new releases coming out. My February pick, Vladimir, I rated two stars, and my March pick, The Book of Cold Cases, I rated three stars. I have two predictions for what a potential April pick could be. First is Time is a Mother by Ocean Vuong. This is his follow-up release to On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous, both of which are poetry. On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous was not a Book of the Month pick, but since it was quite popular, Popular, I'm thinking that Time as a Mother could be a Book of the Month pick. My other prediction is the new Emily St. John Mandel release called Sea of Tranquility. This is the author of Station Eleven and The Glass Hotel. Station Eleven was a Book of the Month pick back in 2015. The Glass Hotel was not a Book of the Month pick. Genre-wise, this one's a speculative fiction and it kind of combines elements of literary fiction, historical fiction, and science fiction. Let's get into reacting to the April picks. First we have a historical fiction, The Good Left Undone by Adriana Trigiani. Next is a narrative nonfiction called Bittersweet by Susan Cain. Next is Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett. Next is Kaikei by Vaishnavi Patel. Next is True Biz by Sarah Novick, a literary fiction. And it looks like that's it. So we're going back to five picks this month. So far, I'm leaning towards the mystery pick, Like a Sister. I'm also drawn to True Biz because I'm noticing that it's about a school for the deaf. I'm coming off of this celebration of Coda winning Best Picture at the Oscars. Coda, which stands for A Child of a Deaf Adult, which was a beautiful story about the deaf community. So let's go ahead and find out more about these five picks. We'll start at the top with The Good Left Undone. The book of the month description says, it's like a hug from your favorite aunt, a World War II epic. This is a historical fiction that takes place in World War II and it looks like it takes place in Italy. It looks like this book takes place over the span of a hundred years. And since it's a World War II book in Italy, it kind of reminds me of another World War II book that I read taking place in Italy called Eternal by Lisa Scottolini. If I were to read this one, I would definitely read it on audio. All right, next we have, Narrative nonfiction, Bittersweet by Susan Cain. The book of the month description says, ever cried during a commercial or listened to Joni Mitchell curled up on the floor? This insightful book is for you. I think the only commercial I've cried in is the like Humane Society one that has like in the arms of an angel in the background. Now I don't really watch commercials since I don't have cable. So I don't have any relevant examples of commercials that have made me cry. Anyway, moving on to what Bittersweet is about. Okay, the author reveals the power of a bittersweet outlook. This subtitle of how sorrow and longing make us whole is kind of screaming self-help to me. Is this self-help? It's mixing research and memoir. Okay, so it's sounding like it's gonna be an exploration of feelings of being bittersweet, how that feeling can help you grow personally. I'm not really interested in self-help. It's definitely nice to see a nonfiction pick for people that do enjoy it and get some benefit out of learning more about this. That's great that you're able to learn more from this book. Number three is The Mystery Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett. Sometimes a sibling just knows when her estranged sister dies under weird circumstances, Lena Scott gets on the case. This cover with the wine glass and the necklace and the bold red definitely draws the eye. Okay, it looks like it takes place in the Bronx. The person who dies is a black reality TV star and then her sister tries to figure out what happened. I would be interested in listening to this one on audio, especially if I start hearing others give us one positive reviews. However, I do think I'm leaning towards the other book that takes place at a school for the deaf. Let's see if this author's written anything else. It looks like she has a series, a cozy mystery series called Hollywood Homicide. So a different subgenre within the genre. Number four, we have Kai Kei, the fantasy book. I'm definitely gonna look up that pronunciation. It said, why should boys have all the fun in this epic tale that pulls heartstrings? Kai Kei fights for her place in history. This cover kind of reminds me of Circe or Ariadne. I'm wondering if this is mythology. Okay, so I'm noticing it's tagged in addition to fantasy, it's tagged as mythology, retellings, historical fiction. It says she's the only daughter of the kingdom of Kakaya. I found a video from the author and I'm gonna hear her pronounce it. Okay, I was definitely pronouncing it wrong. She's pronouncing it kaikaye, kaikaye. Okay, it's pronounced kaikaye. The author in this video explained that kaikaye is the stepmother character from Ramayana, which is an important text in Hinduism. I feel like this read would be fascinating to learn more about that since I don't know much about Hinduism. All right, so that was kaikaye. And then finally we have True Biz by Sarah Novick. It says it's a witty and life-affirming novel that gives us the true biz about a school for the deaf. Wow, this has under a hundred ratings on Goodreads. Let's see if 
the author herself is deaf. Yes. I'm noticing their pronouns are she, they, so they are deaf. In college, I took two semesters of American Sign Language. I enjoy learning about the deaf culture, and I'm definitely feeling inspired by Coda's win at the Oscars for Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor, and Best Adapted Screenplay. So I'm definitely interested in reading a book set in the School for the Deaf setting. So for that reason, I'm going to be picking True Biz as my April Book of the Month pick. Make my Book of the Month. I only pick one book a month due to my budget, but I will look at the add-ons since I know many people do pick add-ons, so let's take a look at them. And add-ons are now called Spotlight. Okay, I think Lessons in Chemistry and Bomb Shelter were the only new ones. Booth and In the Weeds and Since We Fell were not featured last month, so are they new? It's definitely confusing that some of these books have been picked in the past and some aren't new releases. I definitely would like if it was more obvious which ones were new, but I know Bomb Shelter and Lessons in Chemistry are new. So that was my foray into looking at the add-ons. Tell me in the comments what you picked for your April book of the month pick and for now Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye